and welcome back to the Paul Holden Details channel. This is a Volkswagen Transporter, a T6. Those of you in the know will know what that is. And it's a weekend warrior. It's a builder's wagon, believe it or not. Belongs to a friend of mine. And it's not exactly filthy. However, it does need the grime shifting and it needs some last stage protection putting down. Coldest day I can ever remember when I did this. In fact, it was so cold, it froze my water hose and my tap. That's what was in my hose. Thankfully, I drained my machine, my Arva P60, Smart P60. Drain the water out of that just after the last video. Always drain your machine, otherwise you will blow the pump or blow the seals. It's good practice just to drain them, but drain your water hose. What an idiot. So we are going to talk briefly about the process. But we're going to talk about detail in general. I'd love to know why you guys watch detailing videos. Do you watch them for entertainment? Do you watch them to gain knowledge? Or is it just because you're fed up with watching fail videos? I'd love to know in the comments section. But I'd also love to thank everybody that's been watching me throughout 2022 and beyond. Or behind, should I say. So we had APC on the tires, and now we've got Garage Therapy One wheel shampoo in our powered foamer. Lovely big deep dish rims. Perfect, especially for my massive hands. So the APC mixed up with the wheel shampoo. It's quite a delicate clean this week. We've got a new wheel brush from Carscope UK. Kind of looks like a big fluffy kebab, a chicken one. It gets rather heavy. This thing carries a lot of fluid, which is perfect. And yes, that is steam. That is steam and my breath. Steam coming off my wheel bucket because it is a blooming Baltic. It was when I did this. And follow it up with a wash mitt. So without you guys and girls watching me, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Thanks to everyone that's been subscribing over the years, I'm gonna continue making as many videos as possible. They tend to come out every three weeks because of my work schedule. And I try and mix up the content the best I can. Next year, we are gonna be doing some more pressure washer videos. More, I hear you cry, haven't you got enough? No. Also going to be doing some machine polishing, some machine polishing techniques. Maybe get some transformations in. I'd love to know which videos you find the most satisfying to watch. Let me know in the comments section. So when it comes around the rear of the vehicle, it's got a modified exhaust, got two twin tailpipes. All purpose clean, not to start with. That is the last of the trade stuff from Auto Glands. Tire remover next from AM Details. What you find is on exhaust pipes, they just get splattered with the crappy roads that we drive on. Loads and loads of bitumen deposits. Once you've done this, it should start making an improvement. You can also use fallout remover on these, but I didn't really thought that it needed it to be honest with you. They just need a bit of a spruce up. AM Details Metal Polish now. So apply it with your fingers and then get some 4-0 wire wool and then do your thing. It takes quite a bit of time, hence the rather sped up footage. Nobody wants to watch somebody polishing poo shoots for half an hour. Try and keep this kit when you do metal work like this, especially exhaust pipes in a separate bag, because it's only going to get contaminated with all that wire wool. Don't want to be putting that microfiber back on your vehicle. Smart 
Snow foam next. This is the version two from Garage Therapy. No real need to put any TFR, any citrus on this vehicle. It's not that bad. And that is the Pro Lance from Arva. Is it any better? Yeah, it is actually. It's better than the standard one. It's got better fins and it just seems to deliver the snow foam a bit better. A bit more what we used to, but it is 700 mil, so it is on the smaller side. I will put all the links on the screen so you can check them out. Thanks to YouTube, having over 20,000 subs, I get to now put the product on the screen to make it easier for you lovely people. Yeah, no shorts this week. I'm not that brave. And yes, I can reach the top. I am just under six foot five. And it's on coilovers, yay. So while we're letting this dwell, we're gonna bust out some more all-purpose cleaner, go around the door shuts and go around the ad blue and the diesel cap. Work stuff brushes now. So although these window rubbers aren't exactly caked in mold, it's just a bit of best practice to go around them with a soft detailing brush. Either that van is in a hole or I've got stilts. Of course I have an on the little set of steps and I, dangerous Brian up the top there. Getting a face like a spray. So as I said, it's not exactly filthy, but I am gonna go through all the necessary steps before we put anything shiny on it. You know, the stuff that makes it bead and go, woo. So detailing and valeting, if you're doing this on the drive, it should be good fun. The one thing about being a YouTuber is you put yourself out there. If you think you've got what it takes and you want to grab a camera, be my guest, do it, because it is one of the most pleasurable and forgiving things I've ever done. It's one of the best hobbies you can have, and it should be fun. Try not to take it too seriously. Pure shampoo from Ultimate Finish next. Nice, simple shampoo this provides plenty of lube, it's got decent cleaning power and it is highly affordable. Once again, another link will be on the screen. If you look at my lance, it's pouring water out. It's not the lance. Like an idiot, with the new attachment, I didn't do it up properly. And I also forgot to put one thing on it, which will be coming up on the screen. PTFE tape. No, my son did not reverse over that after and break it. Not at all. Note to self, do your couplers up with spanners and put some PTFE tape on and they won't drip water. Dear, oh dear. And I'm supposed to give you advice? So this shampoo is great. It foams up just the right amount and because I've put it through the lance, it's even better. The one thing I've found and I took away from doing this job is um, wet arms and in fact, wet armpits where the water ran down my sleeves. Hmm, just lovely.
And while I was rinsing this, I noticed a few black spots that happened to be tar, so I got rid of those, did that off camera. And then we we're ready for the last stage of protection. This is Snow Seal. Now I know I used this in the last video. The reason for me using this again is it's so quick. It's speed is the name of the game. You'll get around about two months of protection after talking to Valet Pro. And by then the customer will be back for something maybe different. The reason I chose this product, I didn't want to be waxing this vehicle out in this freezing cold weather. I wanted to get this done. I did in fact do the interior after this. I didn't show that on camera because he kept this vehicle so clean. Really, really impressed by this vehicle. Really nice. It's in good order. I'm just trying to make it, in, well, make some improvements, really. Yes, this is what happens once snow seal has been on. You get this crazy water behavior. Now, I did mention in the last video about using this on glass. And I have spoke to Valet Pro at great length about this. They use it as an advisory. You can use it on glass. I haven't found any issues with this. It's kind of just advising you guys, you may get a bit of windscreen judder. Because the glass on my vehicle is polished and then it's coated, I didn't find out any issues. And also with this product, less is more. The full instructions are on the back of the bottle. You can check it out on the screen. You will get crazy water behavior like this. And yes, you can dry your car with a warm air blower. Did I do the entire van? Did I, heck, I busted out a drying towel. Yeah. I was gonna turn the sound up on that bit, but it just sounded like someone playing the trombone. So once you've got rid of the water, let's go around with a soft plush microfiber cloth and buff off the residue, buff. It's so cold in here, my teeth have fell out. Garage Therapies Tire Serum. This will protect the tires. The next time this gets cleaned, the tires will simply return to a lovely black color. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic Christmas. Look after yourselves, and I will see you in 2023. Ta-ra, I'm off for a beer.